that one was really good. I like it. Um, your names are going to be on the second sheet. So. We will be releasing twice a week. When we're all done, we will have released 640,000 males into this neighborhood. They're male mosquitoes, so they don't bite, but I don't want them yeah, all. Heard of it. We got the flower and everything. Okay. So we're good. Okay. We're going to be doing the release just right down here. All right. Okay, great. Thank you. It has been done with other species of mosquito. This is the first time, however, in the United States that it's ever been done with Aedes aegypti. I'm sure there's going to be people that are reluctant to get on board with the program, but we have to look at the big picture. Our residents in Clovis, I think they're well aware that Zika is a problem in other parts of the world and that we have the species that can transmit the disease. However, they also know that it's not currently here. No, I don't have any concerns. I'm just hopeful it works and um, hopeful that it's going to do what they hope that it's going to do. When you start to think about diseases like Zika and the consequences and effects, anything that's been scientifically proven to be an effective strategy, that it's low risk, that needs to be something that everybody needs to consider. We've been working hard for the last three years to develop effective control methods um, to try to stay ahead of what may or may not be coming in terms of diseases. If this is as effective as we hope it will be, it's a control strategy that has the potential to be implemented anywhere.